All right, so what I wanted to do today was talk about a topic that has been kind of circulating ever since uh, people got their hands on Resident Evil 4, and it's the fact that the game could be using the new systems that have been introduced in it and the new improvements that have been introduced in it to kind of act as a testing ground for future releases and more importantly, uh, future remakes because of the action that takes place in those future games if they are planning to do remakes in a kind of chronological order. So what we'll do is we'll go over like the main things people have kind of spoken about and then some smaller things that are included in the game as well um, and see if they can fit into the future remakes but without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So it goes without saying, if they were to make a remake in the chronological order, the next game would be 5 and with the end credit scene at the end of 4, at the moment people are kind of thinking that that is the case and there's a lot rolling on 5, um, people do like the game but people really don't like the game as well and it is a very action focused game but with the systems in place in 4 and how well they've been received, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw some of them introduced in uh, a 5 remake. One of the big ones I see people talking about is the AI in 4. Um, Ashley's AI is very much improved over the original game. Instead of just being this like escort companion you have to pretty much keep safe the entire way through, uh, she does a lot more in this game, so you can obviously can command her a bit better, which you can do in the original game, but it's as simple as like uh, stop and go. But in this game, the AI still moves, but it's just more close to you or further away. On top of that, there are certain encounters where she helps you fight, uh, more specifically the night sequence, uh, when you've got the knights in the arena and like, she throws down the lanterns to help. Um, you can use her to kind of get over obstacles by going through like small areas and opening doors from the other side. And um, she does seem to do a lot more in the, in the remake than the original game. We also got Luis as well, so Luis is present in the cabin, same as always, and he also does something new there as well, he sets you up for melee attacks by shooting enemies and stunning them. Um, as well as that, he is involved in a boss fight in the remake with the two Al Gigantes in like the furnace room, and he does his own thing in there which is pretty cool. And also he's in the minecart section as well and he's more kind of, simply put, he's the driver basically, just to make sure the brakes are pulled and stuff like that. And it, it is interesting because having an AI be able to do that does make you think, you know, okay, so Louis can do this and uh, Ashley can do this. So what if, you know, Sheva in a 5 remake is as smart as this? Like, obviously, if the game is still co-op, you have the option of another player. But if not, the AI could really take a template from how Louis acts in most ways. Um, as if you play 5, you'll know that AI can be really frustrating at times. So I, I think having, especially Louis's side of things, having him be like the kind of framework for how her AI would work in 5, would be a really good way to see how it acts when you're playing the game. So yeah, it'd be cool to see, you know, Sheva maybe kind of act how he does in the remake, and obviously we'll have to wait and see, but it would be pretty cool. On top of that, we have the QTE sequences. Now, there's a lot more in 5 than there is in 4, and I have mentioned the QTEs in 5 briefly in a video in the past couple weeks, but what I've done with the 4 remake is remove a large chunk of them, but the ones that are like really memorable and really present in the original game, Instead of them being QTEs, they've been made into actual playable sequences, and I think that would probably be, no doubt, what they would do uh, with a 5 remake. Like I've said over and over again, talking about the 4 remake and 6 and stuff like that, QTEs are a definite thing of that time of video games. Every game had them, and nowadays you don't really see it, so it makes sense that they get cut out or replaced with actual interactable sequences. The crowds are fighting the 4 remake is absolutely incredible. And there's definitely sequences, you know, in 5 I can think of where QTEs are a big part of it and they could just make it a playable sequence. The one that comes to mind is just towards the end of the game before you fight Wesker in the volcano, you're on his jet and it's a QTE where you kind of fight him on the jet. But obviously if you mistime it, one of you mistimes it, you both die. You could definitely make that an actual fight and maybe like try and make the jet crash rather than it just crashing because of the QTE and you have to fight him during that sequence, that would be pretty cool. Um, there's more as well, I mentioned one earlier in the game where there's a bunch of bike uh, Magini trying to fight you, and you could definitely make that into a playable sequence as well. So there's definitely potential to, again, remove a lot of them, but then make some of the bigger ones, the bigger set-piece QT sequences, more uh, playable and more interactable for the player. Some of the smaller ones now, uh, crafting was thing was mentioned. Uh, now, crafting isn't new to 4, uh, it was in Resident Evil Village as well, and it's definitely not a bad thing at all. It requires you to look around for resources and then you can buy blueprints to make more ammo and you have ways to make more ammo rather than just finding more and it does vary on how much it lets you craft depending on uh, charms you have equipped, the attach case you have equipped and the difficulty you're playing on. And I definitely see crafting 
being something that's kept in the games for a while, it's useful. It's not like OP broken kind of useful. You still have like sometimes not enough bullets to get by, uh, special hard difficulties, but it's there to kind of give you a little bit of help if you need it. And at the cost of carrying those resources around, takes up inventory space. So it's not like a absolute win. There is like consequences for it, but it is a useful way to get more ammo. I think one thing people really want to see uh, from Resident Evil 5 is obviously make it less action focused, so maybe have less enemies going at you at once, or keep the combat very close to how the four remake works, where it's very compact, it's very intense, there's not loads of enemies, but there's enough to kind of make you feel kind of overwhelmed, especially on hard difficulties. They'll probably have to scale that if there is a co-op uh, mode in the game, obviously two people fighting loads of enemies is better than one, so I'd imagine if it was to be co-op the enemy count would still be quite high, but again, you know, give more give more intense moments uh, the time to shine rather than just making that a full-on Call of Duty action sequence, you know, like, make it feel intense, not because of how many enemies there are, but because of how your resources work. Another thing as well, and this is a small thing, and I definitely agree with it, and it's been mentioned ever since Village came out, to be honest, is, for the love of God, do not make the shop sequence in RE5 a screen a menu screen like there was a basically what it was in five is between chapters you'd have an option to sort your inventory out and sell treasures but it was literally just a menu it was just an interface that was all it was there was no merchant or anything like that the merchant was going to be in resident Evil 5 but they cut it out it had its own like black market shady guy uh, so definitely bring that back in and give um give him the kind of request that the merchant has in re4 the side quest basically it, it flashes the game out more makes you explore more you get more rewards from doing it and you can upgrade your weapons and get new attachments for them just from doing these quests. And I think it's a really good addition. The Dead Space remake had that kind of thing as well. And it feels really good there too. It just makes it more explorable. So yeah, definitely keep the merchant in the game and add a unique one to Resident Evil 5. We don't need the Resident Evil 4 merchant in every single game. Um, so maybe add a unique one to that game that works in the same way. A lot of these kind of systems can be kind of looked at in Resident Evil 6 as well. But because that game is so much more action focused... Um, it'll be a little bit, probably a little bit more difficult to uh, get it to work in the same kind of way. But uh, this is what people have been thinking about, talking about in terms of a 4 remake, kind of transitioning into a 5 remake. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see improved in a 5 remake, or if there is anything additional you want to see change in a 5 remake. But as always, thank you all for coming by. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, and subscribe for more Resident Evil content every single day. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.